hello gemini's welcome back to the channel i hope you guys are doing very very well we're going to start with your read and clear this space thank you holy jesus holy father angel guides ancestors for blessing this space for gemini's removing anything of the negative and replace it with light for Gemini's. Anything coming out of this read today will be of you and nothing else. As I pray upon your name for clearance and protection, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you. All right, so guys, we are going to get in touch with your energy. This is going to be an energy poll. Everything about me will be in the bio. Um, so yes let's get started <laughs> let's get started you guys i'm gonna put this a little closer so to stay away from the cards a little bit don't want anything to burn all right so let's see holy spirit holy angels holy father holy guides thank you so much for being here ancestors yes for Gemini's energy pull, please. What's the energy? Wow, two of cups. All of a sudden, right off the bat, the two of cups energy gems for you. <laughs> for you. Um, a lot of you could be dealing with vibing with someone or f trying to figure out like, what is this all about? What is this connection? Why am I feeling this way? This could be very deep as well. This could be a contract for those of you, all right? But it's showing up in the upright. So this is the present moment. This is what you're feeling right here for this person. Um, tell me more. Let's see. We have, ooh, the Ace of Wands in reverse. We also have the Hyperont. We have the Nine of Swords energy. Nine of Swords energy. The Knight of Pentacles. I feel like you're worried like you're worried be you're worried for something within this relationship like you're not going to get what you have been working toward working hard towards with this foundation because it seems like a lot of movements within this connection have been very slow because here how you feel the ace of wands no action whatsoever you are really thinking about traditional um energy right here so marriage you know um religion family the things that are very important and it's like coming up very old-fashioned for me like this is what you want um but things have not been moving that way for you within this connection and you don't know what to do because this two of cups is so strong this is not someone that you want it to end with at all this is not what i'm feeling here Tell me more, Holy Spirit. The magician. So I'm seeing patience here, and I'm seeing like things are going to be shift or um, some kind of positive vibration. It will be coming through. I feel like the Holy Spirit wants you to get rid of this stress, this depression, this worry. I feel like this is a past energy. This is something that happened in the past towards you that you carry this within your relationships and you're worried and this could also have you sabotage your own connection here so be very careful with that um gemini's i am seeing taurus for those of you that are dealing with a taurus or this could be another gemini or virgo so far tell me more okay so you have in the moon energy as well pisces are also coming out here the four of cups the knight of wands wow another pisces energy there the hangman the six of cups in reverse the hermit in the upright i feel like there is going to be a little break with this connection um because the offer that i'm seeing is like you're going through your trials and tribulations right now and it's not like it's going to be a consistent um happily ever after or positive vibration consistently i'm seeing that yes you have a lot of positive energy coming into this relationship but there is like an energy of patience as well because this person is going through growth within the knight of pentacles they're 
you know, bettering themselves and getting kind of a lot of experiences, whether it is wealth, whether it's, you know, um, tr transitions of failure, whether it is transition of losing, losing people within their lives. This, but something is happening um, within this person's energy, okay? Um, and you're going to have to have that patience for that success. I'm seeing like it's a successful card, but there's a lot of work behind this successful card here, okay? And you're feeling like the environment that this person is putting you through, like you don't know a lot, like there's a lot of secrets that's being held from you within this energy as well, okay? Um, within the moon here. You feel like you're confused within this situation, like this person is giving you a lot of confusion. And you feel like your environment is not really safe. You don't feel safe within this relationship, but the love is so mutual. And then you have the Four of Cups energy here, where you're just trying to see if you're ready to move on with your life. Um, and this is a sad situation because it's again mutual feelings here but you don't feel like you have the patience um this person is affecting you mentally a lot of you are choosing to release this nine of swords energy as well because at this point it's becoming severe to the point that you know what this is enough the depression the anxiety the stress that you carry you're realizing that this is not yours to bear okay um you have the knight of wands as well in reverse so there is some kind of confident issues here um, or recklessness that this person brings into your life. One moment they're hot, one moment they're cold, they're just not consistent. And what I'm seeing here within four of four of cups, this person is not consistent. And it's like, it's just still bringing out the same vibe of not being consistent and not being able to give you what you want in and out of your your energy um, and really just confusing you a lot. A lot of you might even feel like this person is not attracted to you, not chasing you, don't want to be with you <sighs> because of this Knight of Wands energy here. Maybe a lot of you are even feeling like this person is settling because they're giving you this energy, but it's based on love. You know, this situation, you don't have to question the love anymore because this is based on love. It's coming through here that it's based on love. All right. So you have the hangman, this, wow, the past energy as well. So a lot of you could have met throughout childhood or you could have met in school. Um, this is just giving me a contract vibes in reverse. Pisces energy once again, like I said before. Um, I feel like this person will eventually sacrifice you of the hangman in the upright. This is not a lost cause. But you're looking at the memories of being a lot of trials and tribulations and memories that you don't want to remember. It's like I'm getting memories that you just want to release. You're looking at this contract in reverse. So this is someone that you love, but it's like is it's like an unrequired love because you don't know what you feel is enough to keep you guys together. And then you have the hermit energy as well. So Virgo here is also coming up, taking a step back, releasing this energy and taking a step back. So this is where I feel like it's a break. And, you know, the step back that I'm seeing is not like you're, you know, trying to find someone else. It's just that you're giving me this energy of trying to find yourself. Okay? Like you are trying to do some soul searching here. So tell me more. The Two of Swords. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Two of Swords. The Three of Wands energy. The Temperance. The death. 
talk about a transition <sighs> wow chariot in the seven of swords so definitely there's a lot of things that you feel like you don't know about and you're so right within this situation because you really don't there's so many lies that are, that are in the up right here this deceit lies betrayal um and they're still showing up in the upright so you don't know this situation i do feel like this person is going to try to fight for you i do see like a coming back a coming home kind of energy all right because they're not confused even though you feel the confusion within this relationship um they're not showing up as confused here okay then you have the death energy as well so there's a transition some form of change that is occurring in this situation and it's like i'm just seeing like this person is coming towards you but they have this lie over their heads they still have this lie over their heads they have a choice to make I'm seeing the distant here and this is going to take time I'm also seeing the Holy Spirit letting you know that it's time to heal it's time to trust again it's time to trust within the universe especially because a lot of you have lost your faith in that you feel like things are just moving very slowly to for you and the reason why things are moving very slowly for you is because you are not re releasing control even though you're practicing faith you're still in control of everything it's like you're not giving the universe that trust to conquer everything that you need for yourself so sage energy and the the temperance here Scorpio within the dead, Cancer within the chariot, Virgo within hermit, Pisces, Pisces, major arcana, you have Gemini here, um, and Virgo again within the magician and Taurus energy. We do have a lot of elements as well, but I'm just going to keep it light and just let you guys know the major arcanas i feel like that's better the major arcanas could definitely be the sun or the moon sign of this person but if you don't know their moon sign that's fine if it resonates with you then it's your confirmation within that particular energy okay all right so let's see if we can get some more information about this person energy that's showing up solo right so let's see and then we're going to clarify some cards as well but let's see the energy what's the energy of this person the energy of this person and gemini's together Ooh, wow that's crazy look at that look at this i'm just gonna zoom in a little bit unrequired love unrequired love that's crazy because i did say that i did say that and here it is unrequired love okay there is not enough let me just put it here there is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going and it's sad it's sad because it's mutual feelings between two people this is shown up as a soul connection um some of you this could be a soulmate connection but just because you meet your soulmate doesn't mean that you're going to end up with them you know they're not a robot they're just human just like you they make their own decisions some people make bad decisions some people make good decisions some people run towards fear some people run away from fear um and this is what we have here so it's just crazy because I, I i i just felt like that's what it is because it didn't make sense to me 
at all. So tell me more, Holy Spirit. Tell me more. It says here, give your relationship a chance. Give your relationship a chance. It says work on your partnership. So you guys are definitely having problems. This is what I'm seeing here. You're having issues. You don't know if you want to stay or if you want to go in this connection. Tell me more. Tell me more. It says, well, wow. <laughs> Look at that. I'm just going to zoom in real quick because oh, separation. Wow. It's like everything that I've basically like channel already. Okay. Okay. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So if it hasn't happened yet, it's coming. But like I said, I feel like a separation is good because the separation that I'm seeing is the hermit. It's not like you are moving on to someone else or this person is. I just feel like the hermit is all about soul searching and healing and taking your that time to kind of reflect on what happened so that it doesn't happen again. Okay. Um, this is what I'm seeing here. One more. One more. Wow. <laughs> passion. Well, you have love, okay? And you have the passion. You have the chemistry. It's just unrequired love. So a lot of you are having a hard time. I feel like the hard time is like letting things go. Um... And seeing this person be like, you know, accepting the fact that you're going to let this go and see this person with someone else. Or I feel like that's your, your worst nightmare, knowing that you feel so much. But I'm also seeing playfulness on the back. And I feel like this is what the relationship needs. It's like the way too much serious vibe of energy right now. And we're forgetting where we came from, ch from childhood, from where it began, for how innocent it may have started like that form of energy is like what's missing in the connection all right so let's see let's see holy spirit thank you father god for being here what's going on here what's going on here thank you Ooh, this person, hangman energy. So right off the bat, they're saying that they will return. Tell me more. Wow, they're going to come in with the truth. Look at the ace of swords. This is a spiritual thing as well. Holy Spirit is not playing. So there's going to be a shift. You know, here's the lies right here. The lies here and this is why this person has been MIA so the hangman for those of you could be that this person has disappeared as well or been very quiet they're like out of reach <laughs> very distant um because there's so much to tell you, so much to say. I feel like this person doesn't know how to start. But the truth is going to come out because it's right there. The truth is going to come out within this ace. This ace overrides the seven of swords. Aquarius energy, seven of swords, you guys. All right, so Hangman Pisces energy, Major Arcana. All right, so the Ten of Swords, tell me more. The Queen of Cups. 
the ace of cups too ace of cups so you have the ten of swords the queen of cups the ace of cups in reverse tell about insecurities within this relationship i feel like a lot of you could have been faced with someone that had a lot of trials and tribulations or things that they needed to heal because this person is coming up as someone that definitely needed to heal and close some kind of chapters um you know the crazy thing about this energy is that i don't see like this person has healed um they have so much going on physical and mental agony stabbing in the back from when you know how they were raised or what they've been through but there wasn't any real offer here when it comes to love i feel like this person made you feel like there was always another path for them to take or they had other options and because they didn't make you feel secure within the relationship and they could even implement this as well like I'm just picking up that this person for someone here kept stabbing them in the back with other people. I'm like seeing, choosing other people over you. This could be their family. This could be their friends. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Wow. You have Pisces on top of Pisces. It's crazy. Pisces energy within the moon, the hangman. You have the two of wands, seven. It's like, you know, like in this person's energy, they're giving me the seven of pentacles, the two of wands. Tell me more. The death, the knight of wands and the two of cups wow see they look at you as the two of cups the ace of cups is in reverse it's just bittersweet isn't it not making any move here and if they're due it's very uh, hasty reckless I just don't feel like this person has confidence within themselves at this moment This is what they did to you in the past because it's shown up in reverse as well. Um, I'm just getting like some of you might not be talking to this person or they might be because you have the Ace of Swords here, which is a huge force of a shift. It's like the Holy Spirit is giving you guys a chance. And then you have the Two of Cups, Ace of Wands. There's like empty promises where you're, you know, not being able to feel that love. Look at how the ace and the, the queen of cups is right next to each other. A lot of emotions, mutual feelings. This is like a little craziness. And there's an end, a transition. But tell me more. I'm also seeing like um, missed opportunity here. This person missed an opportunity but is planning to is preparing for something within the seven of pentacles it's like it's still a chance that's what i just heard there's still a chance here you have the five of pentacles 11 11 in reverse 11, the four of wands the eight of cups and you have the wheel of fortune and the nine of swords the Ace of Wands. Similar energy to what you had, basically, <laughs> from the first watch. Similar energy. The Ace of Wands in reverse. 
You have the Nine of Swords in reverse. You do have the Wheel of Fortune here um, for the very first time within their energy. And it's a cycle. It's a pattern. It's unfortunate. And you guys seem to fail every time. It's like bad mojo. Okay? Bad luck within this energy. There is still a lesson here. Even though the Six of Cups is in reverse, the contract, the Two of Cups is still in the upright. The Five of Pentacles is shown in reverse. I'm seeing like this person is going to make their way towards you somehow. It's like I'm just seeing like coming back to help you. Something about some kind of financial loss or independence. Um, this could be them trying to correct how they left the relationship or they left you stand in there. There's a huge regret within this person's energy within the eight, you know, watching you leave or walking away from the situation for those of you. And leaving this four of wands in a place of conflicts and in a place where they can't, they did not take the time to regulate or to resolve this matter with you and i feel like this person regrets that and this is where the five of pentacles is shown in reverse because this is something that was placed upon you and i'm seeing now that this person is choosing to come into your life and to resolve this matter of coldness um of leaving you in a place where you felt like you weren't invited or you weren't safe I am seeing this person giving back giving you the keys to their to their hearts okay um, because there is a lot of distance with this person energy you have the hangman here which is their first energy they're showing up as someone that ran away okay from this connection but they're going to sacrifice they're going to sacrifice they're going to come back to you this is what i'm getting here they're preparing themselves to come back to you they're getting ready because they missed the opportunity once before by selecting another opportunity so you know this energy here this the way they have left is very important this could be for another person. This could be the, you know, just leaving you high and dry with everything on your back. For those of you who have a home within the Five of Pentacles and was trying to build together, there's a huge regret here. All right, so let's see what we have for the angel messages. Thank you, Holy Spirit. What angel messages are around this connection? What's the connection here? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father, Angel Guides, Ancestors, Four Geminis. Let's see angels around the situation. Ooh, health. Angel of health, number 16. I feel like a lot of you didn't take this well because you have number 16 here. I feel like I'm seeing that a lot of you are going to make th through this situation within your health. Um, and I'm also seeing your ancestors. I love this card because your ancestors are coming up here. You're not alone on the physical realm. You're not alone on the spiritual realm. Okay. Uh, you might have felt very ill. Just watch yourself within this energy, pay attention to your body, and try not to stress. Because I feel like within this energy, there was a lot of stress that was involved that really triggered this health issue, okay? Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Wow, angel of past lives. So you have a lot of unfinished business here within your life. Um, a lot of you are dealing with a lot of karmic um, vibration as well. And karmic doesn't 
usually to other people it sounds like oh my god karmic energy no but it's it's also learning because you didn't get the message the first time so you kind of the angels are just trying to show you trying to teach you again and this word could just you know it's it's called karmic lesson or karmic uh partnership right who you treated or who you had been involved with in the past life that you might have treated you know not so well so in this life there needs to be a balance right with that same soul and of course there was a discussion here all right but you just can't remember you're in the the moment of forgetfulness because you have to be on the realm this realm this planet with that energy because you'll go crazy and it is what it is uh, you know you wouldn't be you wouldn't know where to place everything you'll be quite confused what world this is and what happened here <laughs> you know so it wouldn't make sense it's like having someone live for uh 100,000 years you know it's just way too much data so and i feel like with this with this physical body here this physical body is so limited it wouldn't be able to um control that information or adapt to that kind of information so you'll be in the madhouse okay <laughs> period point blank so you have a lot of um past life issues that you need to go through and your angels are with you for that a lot of you are into music or tapping into music i don't know i always get this card it's like you're listening to music or you're creating it okay a lot of you could be going to music school and maybe you need a decision about that or maybe you're a writer, okay? Maybe you write poems as well. Um, but there's some kind of relative situation there. Or maybe you're hearing music of someone that passed away. And you're saying that's their song. <laughs> um, this could be definitely your ancestors trying to give you that, that moment of calmness, right? Because it's a lot of stress. And then Angel of Love is also coming through. So... I just feel like there is going to be some kind of healing here within this relationship and other relationships from your past. Um, because the only way the angels, the only thing the angels understand 100% and what's important to them that they always go back to is love. And they want to implement that within you. Like it's okay to love. It's okay to feel like this for this person that have mistreated you in this way. There's a reason for everything, but you have to believe that. Because there is an energy of you in control, gems. Um, so a lot of you have a decision to make or you're taking very long to do certain things, okay? And your angel is here for you to help you to sort this thing out because you have so many things that's going on on all at once here so they're here to keep your mind calm you know the crazy thing about this card is like i'm seeing all these directions like this new directions or how to do this how to go how to be where to go from here and your angel is like the exact thing that i was trying to tell you about like all these memories that you do have within all the lives that you did live it's very important that you don't remember them within every life because you will you wouldn't be able you're moving slowly on making decisions right now imagine how you would move with all that information within you and these are the information that you are trying to get look at all these information on the back directions how to do this like you're drawing a map you know <laughs> how to solve something here so let's see one more all right that's it that's the last one. Ooh, imagination angel of imagination it's like this was something that was lost you lost your way of creativity of forming ideas um putting them on paper being really creative here and i feel like because of everything that you have been through like i feel like it's very important to know yourself 
and be tapped into your energy 100% because within a relationship, you can definitely lose yourself and forget your drive and your purpose and why you're here. Number 17, number 27 for those of you. We also have 21, number 20, okay? We have 24 and 16. So there's a lot of angels surrounding you right now. So let's clarify some cards here. That's in reverse. Let's see if I'm in true. Okay, we don't have too many for this person's energy. So tell me about the Queen of Cups energy, Holy Spirit. Queen of Cups energy, something flipped. The Seven of Wands energy. Queen of Cups and Seven of Wands energy. I feel like this person was also trying to control matters because it's like they feel like once they were on top of the world okay and no one can touch them uh, and then they found themselves very touchable okay in a situation where they just can't fight they can't fight this anymore so i'm seeing like this person is letting go or giving up giving up this emotion giving up this way to love giving up this relationship so i'm getting sabotage here like they sabotage their connection with you tell me more about this ace of cups energy holy spirit ace of cups energy ace of cups energy the ten of well no the not no the eight oh my gosh <laughs> the eight of swords the eight of swords and the ace of cups so there's like no confidence here within this person. This person couldn't give you that ace of cups because they were stuck in something. They were restricted. They couldn't do much. They couldn't make your cup overflow because they were restricted. Tell me more about this, this eight of swords. This, for some of you, this could be jail, okay? Because... It's like they can't get out. They can't see what you're doing. It's like they're trapped. Going through a lot of things mentally here. Okay, being very mean or manipulative. But I just feel like this person has a lot to say to you and they need to do it quick. All right, tell me about this eight, because I'm getting the eight, of, the eight of wands, but tell me about this eight of swords, eight of swords energy, the star. The star energy. My baby is crying. Hello? Hello? Hi. Hmm. All right, so. The universe is watching over this. The universe is watching over this within the star energy. Three of Pentacles. This was caused, this restriction was caused by friends, people that they were trying to collab with, people that they were trying to grow with, people that they worked with. They are calling this work, okay? This could be from school. But it didn't work out. There's some kind of shadiness there, some kind of falling out. But the stars are also implemented here. And King of Pentacles, here it comes again. It's like I'm just seeing like a Capricorn or Virgo or Taurus went back on their word went back on their word y'all let's 
That's what I'm getting. I was manipulating the situation here. But the angels don't sleep because this has already been judged. It's like they're trying to work on themselves. Tell me about this Two of Wands, Holy Spirit. I need to go back to that. Two of Wands. Something ain't right there. Two of Wands. Two of Wands, Holy Spirit. Two of Wands, Two of Wands. The Three of Wands. It's like, I'm also getting that whatever this is, it's like... I'm seeing like you guys have been going through this for a while. It's like so much opportunities have passed this person. So this is going to be weird because this person is looking at you as a two of cups and so are you. So that one shouldn't be a problem. It seems like you both still into this relationship, but it's like so long. Then you have the five of cups energy. And it's like you're trying to accept or they're no they're trying to accept what this is but they can't within the five of cups they're trying to accept what this is how this looks this loneliness this disappointment this abandonment situation you're both giving me like this like this person is giving me this abandonment twice in the five clearly they feel alone here clearly they feel like they have caused something here they created this this universe they created this this outcome um within their mind tell me about the knight of wands energy the knight of wands energy Ooh, the justice so good karma good karma the wheel of fortune is in reverse it needs to be turned back around here so the truth is going to make everything right something is going to fall into your lap this person is going to have to be fair to you and just to you because you deserve that there is a transition within Scorpio, but I don't feel like it's the end within this death. Death is just a transformation onto something else. So whatever that might mean, that's because you see the death in a reading, it doesn't always have to be bad. It's just movement, right? Process. The process that's taking place here to make something become better. So like I said, you have the spiritual energy within this person's energy. So there is a shift of spiritual growth within this person, which is wonderful because their angel guys have been working very hard on this person and with them, you know, very, I should say with, because it's not like they're tr like changing this person. They're just putting this person through a lot of lessons so they can comprehend all the information on their own and say aha i see what you're showing me here so i feel like this person does have regret huge regret and is coming from a genuine a genuine place because you do have the regret here so they have passed something that they needed to learn for real this is good um tell me about the um ace of wands energy holy spirit ace of wands energy ace of wands energy ace of wands energy Ooh, the lovers. So this is the first time we're seeing the lovers. So this is why it ended, because there was another person. You know, it's crazy because this person is coming up in the upright. 
this lover's energy this is where the fear came about this is where the you know the anxiety this person could be a gemini as well or have gemini traits that they're sleeping with it shows that they're still there they're still there tell me more about this lovers please tell me more about this lovers and this is where you felt this is crazy how it falls right under this moon energy like you just knew that something was going on and then they're saying that they ended this and then they went back to it so or the lovers are trying to go back yeah this was someone that they were called that they called a friend hmm yeah this is someone that they called a friend okay this was a shady move tell me more about this tower holy spirit holy angels holy father holy guides the page of pentacles This is what they have to tell you. This is what they have to make up for. The Page of Pentacles. They're trying to give back something because of this. But it seems like they have a problem here because they're showing me that the lovers is in the upright. So there is an energy of still sleeping with the lovers. You have the Two of Cups here. The Two of Cups came up twice. So you guys are still sleeping about. Okay? <laughs> sleeping about okay still going back and forth with each other within this energy as well um you're still looking at this person as someone that could be your husband or wife or your life partner okay that you chose and there is some form of relationship that they say they ended because you felt something within the moon about the situation but it seems like they went back to it they're trying to rebuild with that person they're trying to rebuild and this is what they have to give back this is what they have to talk to you about within that seven of swords because you are thinking that this is over and done because the seven of swords is in the upright the lies the betrayal the dishonesty the deceit ooh, running for the hills with this energy and you don't have it you don't have the patience and this is why the it's unrequired this is why it's unrequired because you're just like damn the passion the chemistry everything is there i'm also remember we saw that separation energy like time apart energy um and it's crazy because I saw that hermit. Like, you know, there's a learning curve there. But the hermit came up in your reading. Like, you just need some time to ray. Some time to get wiser, better, older. Um, some time to nourish your soul. Because there's an energy that you have lost yourself trying to fight for this connection. And you gave everything to this connection, to this person. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. You have a Six of Swords in reverse. This person didn't want this to happen. They didn't want to end this. They didn't want this transition to occur. I'm just getting like they wanted they learned oh my god it's like they're learning but they're still holding on to this like this change they're not ready for this change 
tell me more about the six of swords in reverse holy spirit tell me more about the six of swords in reverse the hermit oh my god they're trying to stop you from moving on this is you hermit energy virgo trying to block away trying to block this away i just feel like you are not bitter because you showed me the hermit twice the reason why you are leaving me is, is because of yourself you're trying to save yourself you're not bitter but this person i don't feel like they know what to do here it's crazy how you felt like they have the chariot yet they're not confused because or they're appearing for you like they're not confused like they can deal with this they can dump this person at any time and just not look back and i feel like that's what they let you in on let you know but when you dive into their energy yeah they ended the relationship but they're also going back to rebuild that relationship so a lot of you are like is my person still messing with that third party and here it is Tell me more they're trying to figure out how to work things out with you they have a lot of passion towards you a lot of you were friends tell me about this wheel of fortune holy spirit Wheel the fortune energy wow there is no trust they feel like you are definitely trying to find out things on your own cancer energy for those of you who are dealing with a cancer within the the high priestess tell me more wow no trust no trust high priestess and and the fool's energy so you have gemini aquarius and Libra my cat is crying for her brother her brother is in the closet he's hiding that's his favorite spot now I don't know <laughs> high priestess it's like you're asking they're saying that you are asking people about them like you don't believe in nothing this person has to say i'm seeing a conversation second chance they want to fight for you <laughs> they want to fight for you. you have the nine here you have the empress so you are that feminine energy you are that motherly energy you're that person that they want to build an empire with children have children with they're talking about a second chance this is going to be a communication one within the future vibes communication between you and this person there's going to be some form of call this is really direct So they have a regret here. Tell me more about this eight. They wish this never happened. Then you have the angels again coming through, watching over this and saying like, give this person time. Like this needs healing. This needs trust. Um, I'm just getting this let go energy. Someone here needs to let go. It's like I'm seeing them coming back trying to talk to you. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> kind of energy. You have no idea that this person is coming in. And they do. They come right to your front door with flowers <laughs> and chocolate or something like that okay trying to work something out trying to give you something back 
trying to make peace with the situation, trying to invest time. Because a lot of you seem to be on that role of engagement or marriage. They're choosing to work this out within the high ferrant energy, despite what others might be telling them. Because there's a lot. You don't trust them, but they're still choosing you here. So what is going on here? Because if they're showing me that they're choosing you, even with the justice, you know, basically choosing you, giving you the justice, giving you the truth, choosing to be with you. But there's this nine here. They don't feel like they deserve you, like they can make you happy. So there's some kind of insecurity in this is... And this person fulfills that. So, fulfills that insecurity. That's what I'm getting here. Two different energies that this person is tied up with. Tell me more. Wow. Even the judgment. Justice, just, judgment. Angels are definitely on this today. <laughs> okay? Because, especially for these, this 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 energy that is coming through the angels are definitely on this today aries libra energy libra is coming out twice with the justice and with the judgment a lot of emotions here within this energy aquarius within the star pisces within the moon cancer again gemini aquarius and libra fool's energy so <laughs> so little cray cray <laughs> something about karmic vibration karmic vibration here you have the the justice the judgment the wheel of fortune Wow, victory. I feel like the angels have decided this um, as well. I feel like this person has made their own conclusion and decision, but they really do feel like you deserve so much better within the nine, within the six. But they made a decision to move forward with you despite how you make them feel so it seems like a lot of you are very much successful and this person is having a hard time the ten of pentacles is in reverse in the future vibes i'm seeing the six of cups i'm seeing the ace of pentacles so there's a lot of money um there's a lot of jealousy here look at this the page of swords okay a lot of emotional manipulation within this situation as well within the future energy a lot of bad memories um with this person but uh you know it's like it's a cycle the nine of pentacles and you have the world so let me see how this person feels for you real quick Let's see how this person feels for you real quick. If you guys made it to this portion of the video, go ahead and thumbs up the video here on the YT. Um, do remember when we hit 500 likes on every video, one person will be selected from the comment section. Um, that person will be selected um, that they won a 30 session read in with me. 30, well, 30 minute read in with me um so yeah make sure you guys are thumbsing up the videos but let's see how this person feels for you. let's see here how this person feels let's see how this person feels let me light one of my sensors real quick like this is needed thank you holy spirit uh, thank you for your positive vibration hmm. 
Initially, we're going to put it in one of these big ones because this one is a little bit too much. There it is. So, all right, so let's see. this person feels how oh, this person feels <laughs> jealous page of swords and you have the page of cups no apology um, pretty much jealous energy it's like they're fighting with themselves they're fighting with themselves on both sides but in the middle, in the core, they're feeling like they just want to remain positive here. <sighs> this person is... There's some kind of karmic effect here. Also, within their mind, they're going back and forth within the judgment when it comes to you when it comes to your thoughts when it comes to what you're going to choose um, when it comes to rejecting them they just don't know if that's going to be the case they're not 100% here tell me about this magician please magician is a positive vibration and powerful vibration but I feel like this person's shell is very immature, so that's what you're going to get first. The, the rising energy, the rising sign. So it could be Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra, or uh, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces in reverse. These are both in reverse, but in the core of this person, they do have good intentions, okay? So what I mean about that is definitely if you come off a different way, something negative with this person or try to argue, they're going to give you back the same energy that you put out. Now, if you shell, take away the shell energy and use the key that they gave you right to their hearts, this is what you're going to get that positive vibration. Um, Tell me more about this magician, Holy Spirit. The Two of Cups, look at this, oh my gosh. The Two of Cups, oh my gosh, the Queen of Wands. You know, the, the queen energy, the empress energy. Empress is all the queens. So they look at you as that nurturing sun energy. They look at you as a person that they want to be with. This is the core. This is you. This is the core. This is the shell. So you got to get through this to be with this. Um, a lot of you might not have the patience for it either. So let's see the spiritual energy that we can get real quick from the Holy Spirit. Tell me more. Okay. Let's see here. Oop. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father, Angels of Lights. Okay, what's the energy here for Gemini's? Wow. <laughs> It's crazy how you have love showing up again. Ooh. 
love showing up red butterfly love and you have the angel of love right here number 20 so there it is what is this 85 28 wash your hands so a lot of you did a lot of things while being in this connection this could have been spell work for those of you or just planted negative seeds because you know i did see a lot of emotional energy here especially how this person described you of not believing a word come that's coming out of this person's mouth because you are in an energy of trying to find out the truth within your intuition. You feel like there was a lot of secrets, a lot of lies that was in this connection. And you are right. There is lies, deceit, betrayal, dishonesty um, in this connection. And I feel like the lies you have no idea about yet. You think you do, but you don't. Not what you think. So... Because this person is showing up as someone that needs to tell you the truth. And then you have the moon energy again, the confusion. The Holy Spirit is reminding you to listen to your heart at all times. Number 18 or 1-8 or January 8th or the 8th of August 1st for those of you. Tell me more huge ego toxic vibes stubbornness number 15 so capricorn virgo um taurus leo scorpio <laughs> who else can who else is very stubborn um i feel like every zodiac can be stubborn because they're mixed with so many you know every person can be stubborn because they're mixed with so many um elements within their um chart but those are a few. Um, so this is very difficult to get information out of this person. I feel like you have more questions than answers here. I'm getting 1-5 January 5th or May 1st is coming through. A lot of low vibration. Then you have Divine of Water, Ace. So this is going to be a lot of emotions. Like I said, you've been getting a lot of emotional cards in this read, especially on this person's energy, especially the way that they, they describe you as a cancer energy out of control, asking for asking for questions, seeking questions, being your investigator, um, you know, trying to act like you know something when you don't. Um, energies like that, all right? And you're doing it because the fools was in reverse too within this person that reveal that you don't trust them you're taking your time moving with caution anytime this person's name come up so the holy spirit is like it's okay okay for you gemini's um i feel like this you this energy you don't like you don't like when you're like this okay emotional acceptance completely opened really just shown your heart and showing that you do carry emotions and showing that you do feel something you just don't like this because you feel like you are vulnerable you feel like you're inviting people to harm you um but the angels are saying it's it's okay okay to be this way and then you have the chariot so cancer energy again someone coming towards you choosing you um, a lot of you are saying that you're confused but this person is coming home i keep getting this coming home energy this could be at night as well or something about light this could be a night out <laughs> number 17 or january 7th could be a factor or the 7th which is june july 7th july 1st excuse me um tell me more so a lot of you are protected you're seeing number 444 a lot or number 888 or number eight a lot 
the angels are reminding you not to worry because you are worried you're living in fear and fear only slows things down i am seeing movements okay again this traveling i'm just gonna tap in real quick all right because this movement card number eight the sun beautiful sun energy by the way sunset um my deck will be in the description box you guys if you want to purchase your copy but it says here traveling coming home rest trip leaving behind moving forward and it's funny because i've been saying coming home you know like this person is coming home because clearly you have the chariots come up a lot but you, then you have this coming home to you home energy okay coming through somebody at your door and it's crazy how we had the four of pentacles where i said that i'm seeing like this person's energy is like going to show up at your door with flowers or something <laughs> like surprise 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 and then you have a protector you have your angel guides you have your archangels protecting you the protector something about this 8528 because the protector shows up when they feel like there are other people that don't that are trying to do something to you this is the wolf's energy so your 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 guardian angels um are protecting you here people that are assigned to you for protection people that have lived lives and they have assigned themselves to you they have chosen you um to live through you because they didn't get that experience um to do certain things that they feel like you're going to do within your life so they have signed up to guide you all right so remember that good karma shall follow you always and forever someone needed to hear that but we did see the justice here as well so in here you have it again that confirmation tell me more holy spirit wow water scorpio cancer pisces it's okay to show your emotions i feel like a lot of you gemini's have a lot of water built up within your chart because you have water a lot of water coming in like what and then you had the ace of wa the ace of cups in reverse as well so a lot of you have a lot of water cancer maybe pisces or scorpio as your moon energy or this could be your rising when you appear when you meet somebody but you're going to have that spiritual breakthrough within the 10 and i feel like we talked about this right because we had the ace of swords but this was in this person's energy as well like the truth is such so important here then it says let go and let god and we had that conversation as well um not to control a situation but to have the universe take control of it wow so here you are gemini aquarius and libra it says be free like the wind so you're not trapped or restricted like you may think you are and that is a message to remember to be like a child okay and don't be too serious i love you always number eight this could be someone from another country that feels this way about you or someone that you're dating that is from a whole you know maybe they're from a different background as you it says strong feeling soulmate unbreakable contract and it's crazy how you've been getting the two of cups all this time so this person could be someone that is quite different from you have different beliefs as well than you hmm interesting Tell me more. uncertain path a lot of you are having issues like you don't know what to pick um, or you don't know where to go you have this five vibration with this so i just feel like it's because of a transition within this relationship like you had so much plans with this particular energy and you're trying to figure out what life's what life look like now without this particular person okay so let's see what else 
Ooh, something flipped here. Remember the journey within, you guys. Um, I feel like, again, hermit energy um, in Virgo, journey alone, divine downloads, and number nine. So a lot of you are on the path to receive the Holy Spirit within the light, okay? You're receiving messages from the Holy Spirit. You're renewing yourself. You're giving your soul that nourishing um, <laughs> prize that it needs okay you're feeding your soul instead of feeding your body you're feeding your soul you're thirsty for spirit so you're definitely doing that you're taking this path on your own i don't feel like the, the crazy thing like when we were doing the reading i did not feel one bit like you were pushed into spirituality i feel like within this reading that i'm picking up it's like i'm getting that gemini's that you been wanted this like you wanted to do this and you just couldn't focus a hundred percent with other people in your in your environment like you felt like you were needed over here you were needed over there but now that this have came to path and this is an opportunity for you you really dived into spirituality to see what this is all about um this is not for anyone but for yourself so you're you're doing the right thing here tell me more i'm seeing angel michael you guys something is coming up i saw my angel michael when i was shuffling her and i was about to pick um something is going on here with this a to eight energy witchcraft spell work it's either you're doing it or they're doing it angel michael is not just you know not he doesn't just come out when there is a spell on you okay you can be sabotaging your own self within a situation here okay you could be messing with other people's vibration as well so be careful with that but let's see tell me more so stay loving and stay kind okay it is okay this is what i'm seeing remember where it started go back where it started here earth energy stay in love with the earth and expand the universe so you have a mission here capricorn virgo taurus so you have a mission here you are helping the earth to ex well you're helping the universe to expand through the earth energy meaning just stay within your solitude stay in your peace stay in your love tell me more holy spirit wow a lot of healing here number 15 um self-worth footsteps take it slow it says recovery healing letting go self-doubt and uncertainty and then uncertainty and certain energy is coming up here as well so you're trying to figure yourself out it's like you're starting from scratch and you're healing and you're recovering but i feel like with this comes success with this comes with success here And deceit number five je lies jealousy um well lies env envy jealousy betrayal and trickery somebody has been wearing a mask wearing a mask showing you a false face acting like they're on your level and they want the best for you and your relationships I'm not getting that it's this person that you're dealing with. I'm not. I'm getting like it's someone else around the situation. Someone else in, is hiding in, you know, the shadows of this relationship. 
but this is what i have you guys i'm going to end it with some animal messages and see what we have all the information about me will be in the description box make sure you hit the like button to hit 500 likes so we can select someone in the comment section for a 30 minute free session okay all right one more or three more Oop. okay we're gonna do it because something flipped here too i know it flipped i saw you okay the turtle the turtle on the back of the deck you do have ooh, you do have the dragonfly I haven't been seeing a lot of dragonflies lately. I've been seeing a lot of bumblebees, but for those of you who have been seeing a lot of dragonflies, you're definitely protected here. This could be your ancestors protecting you. Just reminding you that balance is gonna come back into play for you very soon. Like everything seems to be imperfect right now or everything seems to be out of order or you might be busy, um, but your angel guys are revealing that things are going to be good for you soon enough. A lot of you are showing up with curiosity within the raccoon. I'm here to take your time within the turtle, okay, because you're going to get to a place of happiness. But take your time and don't try to be like everybody else. I don't know what that is about. Don't, don't come to, the, don't kill the messenger. Um, there is also going to be an end in here within the moth energy as well. But this is all about the transformation. Remember we talked about that death energy? It's like similar energy to that. Anytime like I see a moth or a butterfly, it's like a transformation, change is coming in. So just, you know, it's like embrace, embrace it. Don't fight it learn from it and then your last card i'm just seeing a lot of people that might be interested in what you got going on or are flying around you or trying to fly like trying to get the information look at this the information about you and your situation or just information about yourself and you're going to be finding out the truth very soon about everything so this is what i have i hope it resonates and i hope you guys are in a beautiful space right now and i'll see you guys in your next one bye guys